you know, it's, it's a great applause line, and obviously they appreciate it. Excuse me. Referring to, Excuse me. to John McCain, a war hero, five and a half years as, as a POW, and you call him a dummy. Is that appropriate to that? Because I don't like losers. But, but Frank, he's Frank, let me get hero. to it. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years he's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. What? I, it was a program for C-SPAN over 50 years since I was shot down, uh -huh. okay? So I was talking about the entire <coughs> Vietnam conflict and what a tragedy it is. One of the great inequities of the Vietnam conflict was the lowest income Americans went and fought and were drafted. And those who were wealthy enough to have a doctor to say, hey, you've got a bone spur or you've got migraines or whatever it is, then they were excused. Hey, quote, Donald Trump is the first president in my lifetime who does not try to unite the American people, does not even pretend to try. Instead, he tries to divide us. We are witnessing the consequences of three years of this deliberate effort. And he concludes, quote, we know that we are better than the abuse of executive authority that we witnessed. We must reject and hold accountable those in office who would make a mockery of our constitution as we work to unite. Only by adopting a new path will we again be a country admired and respected at home and abroad. Fox News' Tucker Carlson might have picked on the wrong combat veteran. You're not supposed to criticize Tammy Duckworth in any way because she once served in the military. Most people just ignore her. But when Duckworth does speak in public, you're reminded what a deeply silly and unimpressive person she is. Now, before we get into what so offended Carlson, her Black Hawk helicopter was hit by an RPG and she lost both her legs along with half the blood in her body. She earned the Purple Heart, among many other medals. She became director of the Illinois VA the same year that Tucker Carlson was on Dancing with the Stars. 2009, Duckworth became Assistant Secretary of the VA. 2012, she was elected to the House. 2016, the Senate. Got all that? Now, here's what she said that really teed off Tucker. There's controversy surrounding comments by Tucker Carlson questioning Senator Tammy Duckworth's love for her country. Tammy Duckworth, who lost both of her legs in Iraq after uh, an RPG took down the chopper that she was co-piloting in 2004. She has received a Purple Heart because of that. And Carlson criticized her because he disagrees with her statement that there should be a national conversation about statutes. Well, it's long been considered out of bounds to question a person's patriotism. It's a very strong charge, and we try not ever to make it. But in the face of all of this, the conclusion can't be avoided. These people actually hate America. Duckworth responded on Twitter. She said this, does Tucker Carlson want to walk a mile in my legs and then tell me whether or not I love America. Technically, she is a sitting United States Senator who is often described as a hero. Described as a hero. Described as a hero. Described as a hero. Yet Duckworth is too afraid to defend her own statements on a cable TV show. What a coward. The conclusion can't be avoided. These people actually hate America. There's no longer a question about it. This isn't just about whether Tucker Carlson or Donald Trump served and sacrificed for their country the way that Tammy Duckworth did. They didn't. Carlson did again last night, desperately calling Senator Duckworth a moron, a coward, a fraud, someone who was once injured while serving in the Illinois National Guard. He did all this, allegedly, to defend George Washington, whose statues Duckworth never said should be taken down, and for what it's worth, I don't think they should be. Pictures of pretended patriotism. But some folks fearmonger when they don't have facts on their side. And speaking of facts, here's something to ponder if you're wondering just who you can trust in this hailstorm of hate. Fox News' own lawyer argued in federal court three weeks ago that Tucker Carlson's audience doesn't expect him to report the facts. And that's your reality check. I spent my entire adult life looking out for the well-being, the training, the equipping of the troops for whom I was responsible. Sadly, and I will not be lectured about what our military needs by a five deferment draft dodger. And I have a message for Cadet Bonespurs.